The Common Core State Standards Initiative is an educational initiative in the United States that details what K-12 students should know in English, language arts and mathematics at the end of each grade. The initiative is sponsored by the National Governors Association and the Council of Chief State School Officers and seeks to establish consistent educational standards across the states as well as ensure that students graduating from high school are prepared to enter credit-bearing courses at two- or four-year college programs or to enter the workforce. Background In the 1990s, the Standards and Accountability Movement began in the U.S. as states began writing standards outlining what students were expected to know and to be able to do at each grade level, and implementing assessments designed to measure whether students were meeting the standards. As part of this education reform movement, the nation's governors and corporate leaders founded Achieve, Inc. in 1996 as a bipartisan organization to raise academic standards and graduation requirements, improve assessments, and strengthen accountability in all 50 states. The initial motivation for the development of the Common Core State Standards was part of the American Diploma Project. A 2004 report, titled Ready or Not, Creating a High School Diploma That Counts, found that both employers and colleges are demanding more of high school graduates than in the past. According to Achieve, Inc., current high school exit expectations fall well short of employer and college demands. The report explained that the major problem currently facing the American school system is that high school graduates were not provided with the skills and knowledge they needed to succeed in college and careers. While students and their parents may still believe that the diploma reflects adequate preparation for the intellectual demands of adult life, in reality it falls far short of this common-sense goal. The report said that the diploma itself lost its value because graduates could not compete successfully beyond high school, and that the solution to this problem is a common set of rigorous standards. Development In 2009, the NAR convened a group of people to work on developing the standards. This team included David Coleman, William McCallum of the University of Arizona, Phil Darrow, and Student Achievement Partners founders Jason Zimbar and Susan Pimentel to write standards in the areas of mathematics and literacy. Announced on June 1, 2009, the initiative's stated purpose is to provide a consistent, clear understanding of what students are expected to learn, so teachers and parents know what they need to do to help them. Additionally, the standards are designed to be robust and relevant to the real world, reflecting the knowledge and skills that our young people need for success in college and careers, which should place American students in a position in which they can compete in a global economy. The standards are copyrighted by NAR Center for Best Practices and the Council of Chief State School Officers, which controls use of and licenses the standards. The NAR Center and CCSSO do this by offering a public license which is used by state departments of education. The license states that use of the standards must be in support of the Common Core State Standards Initiative. It also requires attribution and a copyright notice, except when a state or territory has adopted the standards in whole. Adoption 42 of the 50 U.S. States and the District of Columbia are members of the Common Core State Standards Initiative with the states of Oklahoma, Texas, Virginia, Alaska, Nebraska, Indiana, and South Carolina not adopting the initiative at a state level. Minnesota has adopted the English language arts standards but not the mathematics standards. Several states that initially adopted Common Core have since decided to repeal or replace it, including Indiana, Oklahoma, and South Carolina. Standards were released for mathematics and English language arts on June 2, 2010, with a majority of states adopting the standards in the subsequent months. States were given an incentive to adopt the Common Core standards through the possibility of competitive federal race to the top grants. U.S. President Barack Obama and U.S. 
Secretary of Education Arne Duncan announced the race to the top competitive grants on July 24, 2009, as a motivator for education reform. To be eligible, states had to adopt internationally benchmarked standards and assessments that prepare students for success in college and the workplace, though, states could adopt other college and career-ready standards and still be eligible. They were awarded extra points in their race to the top applications if they adopted the Common Core Standards by August 2, 2010. 41 states made the promise in their application. Virginia and Texas were two states that chose to write their own college and career-ready standards, and were subsequently eligible for race to the top. Development of the Common Core Standards was funded by the governors and state schools chiefs. With additional support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Pearson Publishing Company, the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation, and others, until the Every Student Succeeds Act was passed in December 2015. The U.S. Department of Education had encouraged states to adopt the Common Core Standards by tying the grant of waivers from the No Child Left Behind Act to adoption of the standards. However, the Every Student Succeeds Act not only replaced the No Child Left Behind Act, it also expressly prohibits the Department of Education from attempting to influence, incentivize, or coerce state adoption of the Common Core State Standards, or any other academic standards common to a significant number of states, though the Common Core State Standards do not cover science and social studies content standards. The Next Generation Science Standards were released in April 2012 and have been adopted by many states. They are not directly related to the Common Core, but their content can be cross-connected to the Mathematical and English Language Arts Standards within the Common Core. English Language Arts Standards the stated goal of the English language arts and literacy in history, social studies, science, and technical subjects standards is to ensure that students are college and career ready in literacy no later than the end of high school. There are five key components to the standards for English and language arts reading, writing, speaking and listening, language, and media and technology. The essential components and breakdown of each of these key points within the standards are as follows. Reading as students advance through each grade, there is an increased level of complexity to what students are expected to read and there is also a progressive development of reading comprehension, so that students can gain more from what they read. There is no reading list to accompany the reading standards. Instead, students are expected to read a range of classic and contemporary literature as well as challenging informative texts from an array of subjects. This is so that students can acquire new knowledge, insights, and consider varying perspectives as they read. Teachers, school districts, and states are expected to decide on the appropriate curriculum, but sample texts are included to help teachers. Students and parents prepare for the year ahead. Molly Walsh of Burlington Free Press notes an appendix that lists exemplar texts from works by noted authors such as Ovid, Voltaire, William Shakespeare, Ivan Turgenev, Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Frost, B. Yeats, Nathaniel Hawthorne, and the more contemporary including Amy Tan, Atilga Wand and Julia Alvarez. There is some critical content for all students, classic myths and stories from around the world, foundational U.S. documents, seminal works of American literature, and the writings of Shakespeare, but the rest is left up to the states and the districts. Writing the driving force of the writing standards is logical arguments based on claims, solid reasoning, and relevant evidence. The writing also includes opinion writing even within the K-5 standards, short, focused research projects, similar to the kind of projects students will face in their careers, as well as long-term. In-depth research is another piece of the writing standards. This is because written analysis and the presentation of significant findings are critical to career and college readiness. The standards also include annotated samples of student writing to help determine performance levels in writing arguments, explanatory texts, 
and narratives across the grades. Speaking and listening although reading and writing are the expected components of an English language arts curriculum. Standards are written so that students gain, evaluate, and present complex information, ideas, and evidence specifically through listening and speaking. There is also an emphasis on academic discussion in one-on-one, -on -one, small group, and whole class settings which can take place as formal presentations as well as informal discussions during student collaboration. Language vocabulary instruction in the standards takes place through a mix of conversations, direct instruction, and reading so that students can determine word meanings and can expand their use of words and phrases. The standards expect students to use formal English in their writing and speaking but also recognize that colleges and 21st century careers will require students to make wise, skilled decisions about how to express themselves through language in a variety of contexts. Vocabulary and conventions are their own strand because these skills extend across reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Media and technology Since media and technology are intertwined with every student's life and in school in the 21st century, skills related to media use, which includes the analysis and production of various forms of media, are also included in these standards. The standards include instruction in keyboarding, but do not mandate the teaching of cursive handwriting. As of late 2013, seven states had elected to maintain teaching of cursive. California, Idaho, Indiana, Kansas, Massachusetts, North Carolina and Utah.